Rest in Thee, a series of meditations for the restless. Hello and welcome to today's meditation. Today I thought we'd um, just spend some time with the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's the feast that occurs on the Friday within the octave after Corpus Christi that linked to the giving of Jesus' body and blood for us is that his heart is given. You might recognize the image, this image of Jesus with his heart kind of outside of himself and it's wrapped in a crown of thorns. It's on fire. It's got a cross sitting above it and it's pierced. Something about the life that comes out from the self-gift of Jesus. The suffering that he holds in his heart so that we might have life. And there's lots of different ways that people like to meditate on and reflect on this amazing kind of insight received in the 1600s through a sister called Margaret Mary Alico. The way we're going to kind of journey into that today is one of my favorite ways to reflect on it is just to read the office of readings from the divine office. So um, as well as kind of those morning, evening, night prayer psalms or different psalms and periods of prayer throughout the day, there's also a section called the office of readings. And the second reading from that is normally a passage from, I guess, a saint. Um, or some kind of spiritual writing like that. And the first time I read this passage um, from St. Bonaventure, it just pierced me. Like, I just knew it was true. I just knew that I needed to ponder on it, get to know it more. So I'm going to read it through um, twice for you. And then... I'm just going to sing you a bit of a song that I wrote, kind of reflecting on this. And so I want you to just open yourself up to receiving anything that it is that the Lord wants to minister to you, to speak to you during this time. And the heart of the imagery is that in the middle of heaven, of paradise. Jesus' heart, he's allowed it to be pierced so that life giving water can flow out and bring healing to us, bring life to us. So, this is a reading from the works of Saint Bonaventure. You who have been redeemed. Consider who it is who hangs on the cross for you, whose death give life to the dead, whose passing is mourned by heaven and earth, while even the hard stones are split. Consider how great he is. Consider what he is. In order that the church might be formed from the side of Christ as he slept on the cross, in order that the word of scripture might be fulfilled, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. God's providence decreed that one of the soldiers should open his sacred side with a spear so that blood with water might flow out to pay the price of our salvation. This blood, which flowed from its source in the secret recesses of his heart, gave the sacraments of the church power to confer the life of grace, and for those who already live in Christ, was a draught of living water willing up to eternal life. Arise then, bride of Christ, be like the dove that nests in the rock face at the mouth of a cavern, and there, like a sparrow which finds its home, do not cease to keep vigil. There, like a turtle dove, Hide the fledgings of your chaste love. Place your lips there to draw water from the wells of your Saviour. 
for this is a spring flowing from the middle of paradise. It divides and becomes four rivers, then spreads through all devout hearts, and waters the whole world and makes it fruitful. O soul devoted to God, whoever you may be, run to this source of life and light with eager longing, and with the power of your inmost heart cry out to him. O indescribable beauty of God most high, O pure radiance of everlasting light, O life that gives life to all life, O light that illuminates every light and preserves in its undying splendour the myriad flames that have shone before the throne of your Godhead from the dawn of time. O water eternal and inaccessible, clear and sweet, flowing from the spring that is hidden from the eyes of all mortal men, the spring whose depths cannot be plumbed, whose height cannot be measured, whose shores cannot be charted, whose purity cannot be muddied. From this source flows the river which makes glad the city of God, so that with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving we sing to you our hymns of praise, and by experience prove that with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we shall see light. And so as I read through this time, I want you to just imagine yourself sitting at the cross, sitting there in that moment with Jesus, his heart pierced, life literally poured out that you might have life. A reading from the works of St. Bonaventure. You who have been redeemed, consider who it is who hangs on the cross for you, whose death gives life to the dead, whose passing is mourned by heaven and earth, while even the hard stones are split. Consider how great he is. Consider what he is. In order that the church might be formed from the side of Christ as he slept on the cross. In order that the word of scripture might be fulfilled, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. God's providence decreed that one of the soldiers should open his sacred side with a spear, so that blood with water might flow out to pay the price of our salvation. This blood, which flowed from its source in the secret recesses of his heart, gave the sacraments of the church power to confer the life of grace, and for those who already live in Christ was a draught of living water welling up to eternal life. Arise then, bride of Christ. Be like the dove that nests in the rock face at the mouth of a cavern, and there, like a sparrow which finds its home, do not cease to keep vigil. There, like a turtle dove, hide the fledgings of your chaste love. Place your lips there to draw water from the wells of your saviour. For this is a spring flowing from the middle of paradise. It divides and becomes four rivers and spreads through all devout hearts and waters the whole world and makes it fruitful. O soul devoted to God, whoever you may be, run to this source of life and light with eager longing. And with the power of your inmost heart, cry out to him. 
O indescribable beauty of God most high. O pure radiance of everlasting light. O life that gives life to all life. O light that illuminates every light and preserves in its undying splendour the myriad flames that have shone before the throne of your Godhead from the dawn of time. O water, eternal and inaccessible, clear and sweet, flowing from the spring that is hidden from the eyes of all mortal men, the spring whose depths cannot be plumbed, whose height cannot be measured, whose shores cannot be charted, whose purity cannot be muddied. From this source flows the river which makes glad the city of God, so that with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving we sing to you our hymns of praise, and by experience prove that with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we shall see light. As I was saying the first time I read through this passage, I really felt the call. I really felt drawn in to drink. Drink from the river that flows from the heart of paradise, from the centre of all time, all space, all existence, all love. To drink because I knew my need for life my need for light. And that found expression for me in in a song that I've called Heart of Paradise. And so I thought I might just sing it to you just as a way for you to get in touch with your own call to drink. And there might be a particular area in your life at the moment where you really need the healing, the mercy, the life of God. Or maybe you just want to spend this time like really diving into that river, encountering Jesus there. Or maybe you want to spend your time still at the foot of the cross, just allowing that water to come down like the dove that's sitting kind of at that little stream of water that's coming down the rock face. It's like placing yourself there, vigil, waiting for the water to come. Maybe even there's a call to intercede. Maybe there's you know, like people in your heart that you want to come and sit there with them, that the water might touch them, bring the life that they need. Arms open wide, they say come. Arms open wide, they say come, come to the fountain of new life, flowing forth from the depths from my side, let my love wash over Broken open for love of you, I am the heart of paradise. Arms open wide, they say come. Arms open wide. 
they say come when you find disappointment or despair weighing down every whisper every stride throw your cares into the stream Watch them float away in my love, it is in my hands. Find rest in the spring flowing to you, from the heart of paradise. Arms open wide. They say, come, arms open wide, they say, come. We might even in this space of stillness and silence, give a moment of gratitude to God. For everything he is, for every way that he loves us, everything that he offers to us, all that we have because of him, all that we are because of him. We know that Part of the way that we receive life is giving thanks for the life that we're given. Jesus, we thank you for the cross. We thank you for your love poured out. That you allowed your heart to be pierced and broken so that we might have access to what was inaccessible to us before. And we come desperate, thirsty, aching, so in need of the life and love that you alone can give. We pray that we would be ever more aware of our need for you and open to receiving you. Amen. Well, thank you, friends. Um, I'm about to head away on mission for a few weeks, um, so feel free to make your way through some of all the other meditations that are recorded here, because it might be a while till you get a new one, um, but I'm, I'm really glad that these are blessing you. Um, it's a joy. I'm Catherine Kingsley, and this is Rest in Thee, a series of meditations produced by the Missionaries of God's Love Sisters.